Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage His Excellency Ali Bongo Odimba, President of Gabon. Your Excellency, we are so happy to see you in good health. Welcome to Riyadh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Asaba jalala wa samu. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Gabonese people and my government, allow me to express my utmost appreciation to His Majesty, the custodian of two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman al Saud, for welcoming us at the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative Summit. Your Highnesses, the hospitality of your great nation remains unparalleled, and it gives me great pleasure to be among you all today. The excellent relationship between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Gabonese Republic is the result of mutual and failing support that has lasted over four decades. My wish is to see this bond furthered through new avenues of cooperation that can serve as a model for the partnership between the Middle East and Africa. While our countries face common challenges today, I believe it is time for us to work together and share our solutions with the world. One of these challenges is that of economic transformation. Our nations have long benefited from the oil in our soil. Yet, we recognize today that this resource cannot be the only revenue stream we rely on for future generations. Your Majesty and Excellencies, with this vision, 2030, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has presented a clear blueprint to draw on its strength. My country, Gabon, is doing the same at its own scale. The challenge of diversification for our economies is contained within a wider challenge of the urgency of adapted, adapting to climate change and alleviating the risk it presents. For more than a decade, Gabon has been committed to becoming an exemplary green economy. The vast Congo Basin rainforests are not only critical to the fight against climate change, but they also support supply rain to the Sahel and Ethiopia, feeding the Blue Nile and supporting agriculture far to the north of Egypt. The Congo Basin forests are the heart and lungs of the African continent, and we must all work together to preserve them. 
we are developing an economic model that will allow us to create a sustainable economy, jobs for our young people, and keep the rainforest that cover 88% of Gabon, Gabon standing. Thanks to strong policies and significant investment in forest governance, Gabon is a net absorber of CO2. Each year, we absorb 100 million tons more than we emit. We expect to be able to transform this ecosystem service we provide to the world into Paris compliant carbon credits that will make our forests even more valuable. We have also undertaken structural reforms of our business environment to consolidate the role of private sector in the transformation of the economy. We have to nurture the riches that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on our land. Over time, our green gold can replace our black gold, but it would take common efforts and constant dedication. It is in this spirit that I congratulate Your Majesty on the commitment made during the Saudi Green Forum by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to become carbon neutral by 2016. As I said a few years ago on a similar podium, we are past the time of debating. Today, I say we are past the time of half-hearted measures. It is uh, time for us, it is time for concrete action and research. And you have just demonstrated with your commitment to become carbon neutral. Gabon is ready. I invite you to come and invest alongside us in this transformation which will change the course of history. Let Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, guide us in his path. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.